Hey guys, so we are working on a s copy of a small um, game called um, Lunar Lander. Um, it's basically where you have just an object and you have to land it on a specific platforms. So I've been trying to replicate the game itself. Uh, so there are some issues that I'm still going through but other than that I have pretty much implemented few of the features uh, this is the terrain code where I'm setting up all my terrain and everything uh, and this is generating Y points for the Y axis and I'm just randomly putting on X axis points like giving the multiplier so every every 10 steps you get your next point like it's kind of sampling and stuff <clears throat> so the only problem that I'm getting is whenever I put a uh, box 2d in there uh, it doesn't create a specific uh, way how we want it so let me just show you real quick so right now it's gonna it's gonna be created pretty much fine like it will generate this terrain and everything but as soon as I am gonna implement it in a box uh, it is just gonna change the whole direction of the world itself there you go alright so that's the issue I'm going through right now but other than that let's see what we have implemented uh, so we have impl uh, improvised our bird input that we created last time where uh, we are getting zoom in and zoom out functionalities and a movement for cameras in x and y axis itself uh, the next functionality is bird control for if if we put, uh, press up birds key it gives a specific mag magnitude uh, increase the magnitude uh, downward crease decrease the magnitude of the thrust left key changes the angle right key changes uh, it moves it the other way and we are just making this uh, specific code so that in case our character is going out of the specific area it will auto automatically move it so that it's it's inside the specific location uh, i haven't put any limitations for the game object itself i'm just making sure that it's following the game object perfectly fine uh, and then the last thing is our force code where we are getting the force uh, and we're getting the vector of the object's direction and and we are applying magnitude to that direction for, and we are simply applying it to the game object itself so let me just run it for you real quick so as you can see here uh, right now the game object is coming as we see we can see on the bottom output where you can see the force is coming uh, is decreasing as you change the direction it is gonna change a bit it's automatically zooming out as it's seeing that it's going out of the scene and same way if it's a uh, thing going on the right side it will automatically move to the right side there you go all right so that's the work that I have done this week uh, so I am right away gonna start working on a level for our Angry Bird final project uh, since we have most of the stuff with camera and everything uh, by the next week we're gonna see the actual project all right thank you and we'll see you next week